Hello, today I'm going to talk about how chemistry affects in agriculture and, and for me the main topic is, I think it's fertilizers, is the, I think the main thing we use. And so first I'm going to talk a little about fertilizers. So fertilizers are many materials that are able are added to the soil to supply one or more nutrients needed. For the growth of plant fertilizers can be of natural or synthetic, organic or inorganic origin. A recent research has found that 50% of the crop yields are attributed to use of commercial fertilizers. As mentioned earlier that are broadly two categories of fertilizers namely Organic and organic, the organic fertilizers are naturally derived from the animal, manure, compost, or the fish and bone meal. Through the composition by the microorganisms uh, which are found in the soil, these fertilizers release nutrients which are essential for the crop growth. Unlike organic fertilizers, organic fertilizers are synthesized through behavior bosch process and uh, in this process ammonia is produced as the end product which is used uh, in combination with our nitrogen fertilizers uh, other thing very important are uh, uh, pesticides chemistry has been successful in the production of pesticides which have minimized the crop damage of by pesticides depending on the target pest. Pesticides include fungicides, pediculicides, and others. So the pesticides, I think that they make with all these pesticides all these days. I think the Food is less organic and more inorganic. Uh, the use of these things, I think, affect a lot of food in different things. Uh, also, uh, MOR Google can be defined as an aggregate of intensive and large scale farming of cultivation of land monocropping, uh, use of specialist labor and use of organized irrigation ship. More agriculture highly depends on the use of advanced scientific techniques as I told before the the fertilizers, the pesticides. Uh, these scientific techniques re rely mostly on chemistry because all these products are made by chemical chemical things uh, through a production of pesticides, fertilizers, and antibiotics. Uh, it is evident that chemistry has played a significant role in maximizing the yield of animal products and crops. A branch of chemistry which plays a significant role in the production of these chemicals is known as organic chemistry. Uh, the use of organic chemistry has been the heart of fruit production and crop protection strategies for arable farming. Thus, chemistry plays an integral role in agriculture from molecular to the organ level. It forms an integral uh, part of the basis of photosynthesis, which has seen us maximize on our agricultural products. These advancements of agriculture could not be successful with the active research carried out in chemistry. So chemistry has a basic role in agriculture these days. All those things that help the help the plant have a better like a better production of nutrients, all these pesticides too.
avoid plays, all those things. So agriculture is very important. And also, without these things, I think that there is going to be less production of the cultures. So, how can we classify the role of chemi chemistry in agriculture? The role of chemistry in agriculture can be efficiently and comprehensively be classified as, uh, I said before, fertilized pesticides. Also in the food processing, through the development of vitamins, minerals, sureness, consumers have benefited from chemistry regarding appearance, nutritional value, availability, or and flavors on, of their food. So, this is all, and thank you.